I'm just gonna start off with a with a softball here. Why are you so down on money? Why am I down on money? Well, money is more of a mechanism. I'm not really down on money. More to the effect of what money does in the larger context of the market system. You know, money in whatever form is a commodity, right? It's used as a medium of exchange, and it's usually defended that way. But it's really a commodity. And the problem is that since it's a commodity, it changes the incentive system of the culture entirely, mm -hmm. where the pursuit of income and profit overrides everything. You know, problem resolution or new advents for human prosperity, they only come about if financial gain can be made from those interests. Otherwise, it doesn't fit in the equation. So, you know, I think about it in two ways. There's two types of efficiency occurring in the world today. There's market efficiency, which uses the monetary system, and then there's technical efficiency. Would it help things if we measured uh, the success or the, the, the how evolved of a society we were against something other than GDP? It seems yeah, like they're... we just always measure our success by GDP. Well, we always measure our success by financial and monetary dynamics. It's all based on material gain. So it's not just GDP or PPI or any of that stuff. Everything in our society is based on this utilitarian value system that it's all about the movement of money, the satisfaction of problems with money, and the acquisition of wealth as a form of success. So there are other indices that have been put forward by more thoughtful people. There's like a happiness index, if it, as bizarre, bizarre as that sounds. It actually tracks through survey polls of people and how happy they are. In Bhutan, and of course, right? What's that? In Bhutan. Isn't that where they did it? Oh, yeah, you're right, actually, in Bhutan. Yeah, yeah exactly. And that, that's been proven helpful to illuminate some issues. It's not really mathematically accurate, but it does show. I mean, I think the better measures of public health are how much mental illness is diagnosed in a year, you know, stuff like that, how much alcoholism and drug abuse you see, because all of that is, is related to this sort of dehumanization of society that is inherent to the market economy today. That's why I think the postal phenomenon since the 1980s, of people flipping out and just killing anyone around them, you know, this stuff didn't happen in the past. There's something deeply wrong in our value system and psychology, and it's, it's radiating from this, this distortion in the market economy. You know, this is something my, my grandpappy always told me. He said, it doesn't matter whether you have a lot of money or no money at all. You're never truly poor as long as you have guns and ski masks. <laughs> <laughs> Does that, does that sound about right? That sounds, unfortunately, that does sound about right. And you know, we saw Occupy burst forward. I think it's the tip of the iceberg because there's, there's no pressure relief. I mean, the, the little minor improvement we had in our, quote, recession in the U.S. and the West is turning rapidly back down. Uh, you know, I don't want to ramble off on a lot of issues, but we, the storm has yet to pass because the true root of this storm has yet to be understood by the vast majority of culture. And that's why I continue to try and promote these ideas and get people out there to think a little more deeply about you know, what resolution means.